Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we are looking at Olama, which is an open source uh, method to run large language models locally. That means running your own AI chatbot within your own computer. Now we've looked at this in the past. We've very specifically looked at Llama 2 before, but that was a couple months ago and that is eons in this AI era. Now, previously, it was very difficult and painful to run a model locally. You had to get the right permissions. You had to find the right models. There were very few options for you to choose. But today, uh, virtually everything's changed. There are many open source models. Their uh, performance have gotten much better. The installation is much easier. All of these things make it um, more accessible to the masses. Now I'm introducing Olama today because it is a foundation potentially for other uh, software later on. And what's really nice is that it installs very easily. And so if you go on the site olama.com and you just click the download button, you choose your own operating system, download, install. Now I'm not going to do that, it does take a few minutes, but you didn't need to do anything really. Um, everything's handled, there weren't any options. You just install and uh, you double click the application. And once you have done that, the rest of um, Olama happens within command prompt. Now I know this sounds a little less useful because uh, most people don't like command prompt and the black and white text, but the interesting thing and the useful thing about Olama is that it is being integrated into other software. So this is the foundational piece to keep the LLM running locally. And then you're going to download other software to have your nice chatbot interface to uh, put other pieces, to have vectors and embeddings and all of that. Now, it isn't the subject of this video, but just to give you an idea, I was looking at anything LLM. And this is originally the video I wanted to do, but I wanted to break it down into different pieces. Now, anything LLM helps you uh, run a chatbot locally on your computer. You can see it has an actual interface. It doesn't look like um, a command prompt. Um, but more importantly, it starts to tie different things together. You're going to be able to put in images. You're going to be able to put in documents. You're going to have those embeddings and vectors. And those are being pulled from different pieces. One of the pieces, the core piece, is Olama running locally. So let's get back here. What is the big deal about Olama? Well, for one, you can install it very easily. And here, if I just go type Olama, you're going to see it runs within your command prompt very, very easily. Um, the other big thing is that this is an aggregator of many different models. Here's just a sample. And if you look at the library, uh, there's many, many, many more models for you to take a look at. But just as a quick comparison, you're going to see models that are as small as Phi2, which is what we're going to be using today, and models that uh, are as big as Llama 2, 70 billion parameters. And so they range from 1.6 gigs, uh, probably even lower in size, all the way up to 39 and, and beyond. And so if I were to pick one and I, as I said, I just went uh, Olama run phi. Do I need the two? Nope. It's going to do the work for me. Um, the first time I ran it, it does take a bit of time to download 1.6 gigs. It's entirely dependent on your um, connection. Um, but it took me a, a few minutes to download and then it got to the send message. But again, the entire process is so hands off. It is so familiar to everyday users that I think it's become a lot more accessible. Now, once I have this, I can start having a conversation. Hello, how are you? You know, typical um, 
typical responses from from an LLM. Uh, can you write some Python code for me? Um, I am not sure why it's being so verbose here. And I'm not even sure it's relevant. So uh, can you write the code for me in Python? Uh, I guess that seems strange to me. Phi should be able to write some Python code. But bad demo aside, um, you are having a conversation. And what's really important is it's running entirely locally on my computer. Now, Olama handles everything in the back. If you have an AMD graphics card, a NVIDIA graphics card, uh, or, or none at all, it's handling it in the back end. Now, naturally, if you know you have a 4080 graphics card, uh, you're going to get responses faster uh, than, than someone running this on basically anything else. So if you have a Linux computer, very, very uh, crappy processor, you, you can expect that these responses might take 5, 10, 20, 30 seconds to, to respond each time. Um, I, I think that's about it. That's really all I wanted to share with you because um, it was so simple. It was a lot simpler than the last time we tackled this, trying to install Llama 2 uh, somewhere, somehow. Today, it's just download, install, run a command. And in the next video, we might look at anything LLM or something else where Olama is um, the, the foundation for it and other things built on top. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week when, when we build on top of Olama.